Oh, good morning, ladies. Good morning to you all. And good morning to you folks. Thank you guys for joining us. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a different pacing. So, Tuesdays is my day off. It's the day Allie goes to work. It's the day I get the kiddo. And so I'm home and I get to play around. Oh, it's about 7 a.m. Birds woke up. The cat woke me up. Always. Cat's always waking me up. It's about 50 degrees outside. It ain't that bad. Yeah, I got post nasal drip. So what? Chickens don't care. They don't care if I'm sick. They need the food. They need the water. And I need their eggs. So we got to go to work. Let's do this. Mmm. Some broccoli. Some ribs. And some steak. Oh yeah. Chickens are going to love this. Thank you, Mom. Oh God. Chico. Someone's impatient. Chico. Chico, madam. Chico. Yeah, that's right. Oh boy. Oh, close the door. Use the force, Luke. Ew, dog footprints. Chico, what are you doing? Chico. Look, all the other ladies are all pissed because you got out. They're like, why can't we get out? Y'all went out. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Come on, let's go. Prison break, yep. Come on, Melkor. Come on, Melkor. Melkor, you can do it. Look, Lulu's gonna show you. You gotta step on that thing. There you go, good job, Melkor. <laughs> what about you, Ellen? Ellen, what, are you coming out or nah? Guys, this is Ellen Pompeo. She's my big bird. Ellen, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Ellen, the door is over here. You are going the wrong way. God, shh, whatever. You know what? If you want to get stuck inside, that's your prerogative. You could stay in there. Look at Lulu up on the, the hay bale. You see, guys, I, I'm not really doing anything fancy. I got my coop. I got a little fence for them to hang out in during the day. We're going to get a bigger fence, like I said, for the next round of chickens. But, you know, it's really not that hard. That bale of hay, that'll, that's mostly for the rabbits. You guys don't even need that. But the feed is the easiest part, honestly. Guys, I go on and on about chicken scraps all the time, but it's because it's the easiest way to supplement their feed. You know, if you think about it, if it's good enough for you and me to eat, it's probably good enough for the chicken to eat too. So if you guys are planning on getting backyard birds, start there. Like I read somewhere, actually I think I was, uh, I overheard a conversation with Dr. Joel Salatin and Joe Rogan, uh, he mentioned there was, uh, I want to say, 70% of the landfills in America are with compostable materials, whether that's cardboard, paper, food scraps, all of that. Imagine all of that out of your trash can. Every little bit of food that you throw away or that you try to shove down your garbage disposal, all of that, all of that can go to be making you eggs instead of having to rush to the store and beat people down for a $5 carton of eggs. This is so easy, guys, this is really easy. Like, I wake up before my kiddo does, and so I go out there, it's my peace time, you know, it's quiet usually. The animals, the, the sounds of the birds clucking and scratching and things, it's peaceful, I love it. It's my me time. And I think everybody can do this, you know, this isn't something that you need a PhD in raising chickens in. Like I, I just started doing this out of, out of the, the desire to do it. Guys, back in when I was maybe 10 or 11 years old, I wanted a chicken. I told my grandparents, I said, guys, I want a chicken. And you know what they got me? They got me this. You know, it was, it, it kind of stung a little bit, I'll be honest. I was really serious, you know. I really wanted chickens. Oh, hey, look, guys, let's do a quick update. Now, Samwise. <gasps> Ooh! Okay, well, 
that's Samwise, and there's Frodo. <laughs> Not really, but still. These potatoes are doing real well, guys. And starting potatoes is super easy. Leave a comment in this video if you guys want to get a quick glimpse at how to start your own potatoes in the backyard. It's real simple. You just got to basically abandon your potatoes. Abandon them. You guys, I, I abandoned my potatoes inside. You see guys, it's really easy to get extra chicken scraps, especially when you're a dum-dum and you burn your food. Ah, it's a beautiful day. It really is a beautiful day. Good day for some coffee. There's my Bubba mug. Oh, our Bubba mug. What's mine is yours, babe. Ah, okay. So, I've been teasing you guys for a while that we're gonna get more chickens, so. What's the game plan for that, Papa T? I can already hear everybody asking me, except no one's commenting. Do you guys not love me? Does nobody love me? Please love me! I'm desperate for your attention! No, but seriously, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Please make sure that I know you think I'm doing a good job. Was that grammatically correct? Somebody fact check me on that sentence. I don't know if that was all proper. What's the game plan for more chickens? So there's a store. It's in a city uh, close by. It's called New Braunfels. I bet some of you have heard of it. Some of you have never heard of it. There's only one S in New Braunfels, guys. They're going to be getting chickens in on a pretty weekly schedule. Uh, I got the link. I'll put the link in the description. And I want you guys to all go and check out these chickens. Check out the breeds that they're going to have coming in. And y'all let me know which kind you think we should be getting. I'm already going to give you some ideas of what's out there. Uh, these are some chickens I know for sure that we're going to be getting just because I want the eggs. So we're going to get the Easter Egger. It's a cross between a Moran and a Americana. The Americana is one of the very few breeds of chickens that's a purebred chicken and naturally lays blue eggs. I know, ain't that pretty cool? So you mix the Americana with uh, a chicken that lays darker eggs like a Moran and then what that happens is you get the blue and the brown to cross and you get a green egg. So we're gonna have green eggs. We're gonna have green and a little bit of blue and then of course we got these girls back here. They all lay, uh, the white ones lay a, a light, a light brown egg. We got light brown and dark brown so far but I wanna get some variety. There's also a, uh, a very, very big chicken. I want a big chicken, you guys. I'll be completely honest. Quick shout out, Urban Rescue Ranch. Ben, I love your videos. Big inspiration, big fan. I've uh, been watching you for about, a, about two years now and to see your come up is great and I'm a little jealous, man. You're living my life. I'm trying to do the same thing. <laughs> I want a big bird. I saw him playing around with his emus, with his with his rayas, and I thought to myself, I want that. I, wa I want some big chickens. These chickens aren't big enough. Like when I saw on the New Braunfels feed, that's where we're going. Not a sponsor, guys. Not a sponsor. I asked and they said no. We're going three trips to New Braunfels feed and we're going to gather some chickens. We're going to get... Uh, the egg layers, we're going to get Easter Eggers, we're going to get Olive Eggers. Uh, then they also have some Morans. I wouldn't like some Morans. They look really pretty, guys. We're going to have some beautiful looking chickens here. And finally, we're going to get something for Papa T. We're going to get Papa T a pet. Yeah. Not, I, I won't say. I won't say what we're going to get. Although, just, just you should go check out the link. I'm going to supply the link. You go check it out. Go look through the breeds, and you you tell me which which chicken you think Papa T is gonna end up getting for himself. Because I'm gonna have some good egg layers, I'm gonna have some beautiful birds, and then I'm gonna get something for me. In this video, I'm gonna post a link to a PDF file that uh, is the guidelines for the city of San Antonio on uh, the conditions in which you can raise chickens in your backyard. So if anybody's got some questions on what's legal, what's allowed, what you should and should not be doing, that's kind of the, uh, the, the standard, that's the par that you gotta be working with. And one of the important things is the wood chips. As I said in one of my other videos, you wanna be adding some mulch of some sort, straw, leaves, wood chips, anything. You wanna put it in the chicken coop Especially under where they roost. Madam, 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 madam. Could y'all not make a mess of my raised beds? Mama and I worked pretty hard to put this stuff up. I really appreciate it if you guys didn't mess it all up. Let's go grab the food bowl. Let's go play the Pied Piper of chickens. Watch this, you guys. They follow me just about anywhere, especially if I call them. They don't follow me. Chick, 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 chick. Come on, 
This way. Wow. Just straight up turned around and ignored me. Wow, Lulu. Lulu, you break my heart. It's probably because I just said I was going to replace her. Bus going by. Bye, kids. Have a good day at school. Yeah, come on. Chick, 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 chick. You see, guys? I got the food scrap bowl. They know it's good. Chick, 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 chick. Come on. Chick, 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 chick. I can get them to follow me just about anywhere. Chick, 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 chick. Okay. Got Chico, got Ellen, got Red, got Lulu. Melkor. Melkor, quit being cringy. Come back here. Oh my god. Melkor. Melkor, what are you doing? Get get out of here. Come here. Melkor. Chick, 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 chick. Melkor's being weird, guys. Some chickens you just can't train. Melkor, Melkor ain't the smartest bird in the flock. I don't even know where she went. Melkor. That's okay. I wanted to bring them over here. I thought they'd have fun. Bunch of leaves we put over here. Let them just kind of scratch through it. Ellen, you are too fat to fit through that gate. Don't even try, girl. Melkor, you being dumb. Oh, or are you actually the smart one? You waited. <laughs> Look, here comes Chico. Chico! Come here, Chico! You know what's up. They ain't dumb. They know what's up. The minute I threw the bowl down, they all started coming in. Oh, are you guys having a hard time getting through the gate? Here. Come on, Lulu. You're smart. You can do it. There you go. That's my big girl. And there's Red. Ellen, can you do it? Oh. And with that, the prisoners willingly return to their domicile.